think that uh, it was it was a, it was a uh, great trip from the purposes of we, we played in ideal weather for four days. Um, we had a, we had a fantastic workout on Thursday night. I thought our pregame prep uh, was very good. Uh, you know, us getting on the field and doing baseball things every day is really healthy for our program. And I thought we got better in, in, in you know, those aspects. I, I thought the trip to, to Minute Maid Park couldn't go any better. You know, it got the team together, you know, in a, in a non-on-the-field baseball activity. Uh, we went down there, and it, it's a tremendous park, and the, the amount of details that, that went into Minute Maid, uh, how they build it and how they put the roof on and everything is, was amazing. But, uh, you know, one of, the, one, one of the most impactful things that happened on the trip and I thought was really cool um, was, was Don May, you know, our, our starting right fielder, uh, got to uh, uh, see his dad in, in the Astro team pictures. Uh, his dad was in four or five team pictures, and, you know, it was kind of cool to him take a picture in front of the, his dad's 1995 team. Uh, with the whole club watching and, you know, the Astro staff there, you know, commenting on it. I think that was kind of a, you know, a once in a lifetime experience at how many guys, you know, get to go to a park and see their dad in a, in a major league uniform and, and we got to play in that town. So I, I thought that was great. I think the, the alumni in Houston was tremendous. They were out in force every day. Uh, I always, you know, I, I think that's so important for, you know, our players to get to to meet their alumni, not just the baseball alum, uh, you know, as well, you know, alums from, you know, uh, in different majors, athletics, non-athletics, it, it allows them to kind of connect the dots and the, you know, the 40 plus years they're out of Villanova and not playing baseball, you know, it, it gives them a chance to establish some relationships and, you know, kind of some non-mainstream areas that may come in handy for, for those guys. And, and uh, it was really good, to, you know, for our alumni to see, you know, Todd's performance on Sunday, you know, sealing the big five, you know, player of the week and making the Big East honor roll, you know, leading the game off in the first inning with a, with a two-run jack and, and going four for four on a day was a double away from hitting on, you know, hitting for the cycle. So all in all, on that aspect of it, uh, I thought it was tremendous. Tuesday we're going to drive up to Tallahassee and Wednesday night we're, we're going to play Florida State, one of the premier college programs in the country. And uh, you know that my seniors, uh, when they were freshmen, played a three game series versus them and they played pretty well. And I, I know the guys are really anxious to, to, to get on the field versus Seminoles again. And then uh, the uh, following weekend we're at a Stetson's tournament. You know in the Daytona area would be the first time we're uh, uh, in their tournament. We're going to see uh, Stetson Friday night and Central Michigan on, on Saturday. Very good ball clubs, but I, I, I know the team's really excited about playing Illinois on Sunday. Uh, you know, we have eight or ten guys from the state of Illinois. That's our main recruiting area, you know, in the Midwest, and we've been trying to put that game together for some years, and, you know, it's going to happen in Stetson, and they're a tough opponent, and uh, we should have a good look in, in all the games down there, as I said, a lot of comparable teams to Villanova. I'm looking forward to seeing us get out on the field and compete each day and uh, have more runs than a lot of people at the end of nine innings. So.